Los Angeles, CBS LA, an amended lawsuit filed on behalf of Kobe Bryant's widow, Vanessa Bryant, names four Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputies accused of sharing photos of the Calabasas helicopter crash site where Kobe, his 13-year-old daughter Gianna and seven others were killed in January of 2020. In a Wednesday Instagram post, Bryant posted a photo of the front page of the lawsuit that names Los Angeles County, the LA County Fire Department, the LA County Sheriff's Department and four deputies, Joey Cruz, Rafael Mejia, Michael Russell and Raul Versailles, as defendants in the case. According to excerpts from the lawsuit posted to Bryant's Instagram account, Bryant spoke with Sheriff Alex Villanueva on the day of the crash expressing concern that the crash site was unprotected from photographers. According to the suit, Villanueva assured her that the scene was being secured by deputies. File, a National Transportation Safety Board investigator on January 27, 2020, works at the scene of the helicopter crash that killed former NBA star Kobe Bryant and eight others in Calabasas, Calif. NTSB, Getty Images. According to the Sheriff's Department's subsequent investigatory report, one deputy in particular took between 25 and 100 photos of the crash scene on his personal cell phone, many of which had no conceivable investigatory purpose and were focused directly on the victim's remains, the suit states. The suit alleges that Mejia obtained multiple photographs of the Bryant's remains, stored them on his personal cell phone and shared them with at least two individuals, including a female deputy at the scene and crews. Cruz, according to the lawsuit, was a trainee deputy at the time and shared the photos with multiple people, including his niece, patrons at a bar, a bartender and Russell. Russell, according to the lawsuit, shared the photos with a personal friend who was also a deputy, though at the Santa Clarita station and not the Lost Hills station, which was investigating the crash. According to the lawsuit, Versailles obtained the photos and saved them to his personal cell phone before sharing them with several other department personnel, including Mejia. The department has yet to deliver on Sheriff Villanueva's promise of publicly reporting the results of the department's investigation, but Mrs. Bryan obtained the department's final investigative report via a motion to compel in January 2021, the lawsuit states. Substantively, the report reveals that the Sheriff's Department has failed to take basic steps to ensure all copies of the improper photos are tracked down and sequestered. Earlier this month, a judge ruled the deputies' names could be made public. Brian is suing for negligence, invasion of privacy and a 14th Amendment violation. Some former law enforcement officers said they were worried about the deputies' safety after their names were made public.